I'm excited. Look at that. Off the top of my hand, I'm, I'm excited because I was, I'm working on, on something really, really small over here. And check this out. We've got the runner of Gematria, okay, backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, backwards. So when we spell Earth backwards, it becomes 5, 1, 5, 76. The spirit of 76 is one quarter of time Mars because this represents 15, 1 quarter and Mars. 19, which is the spirit of the sun, artificial intelligence, okay, would be 95. 19 times 5 equals 95, and 9 and 5 will equal to 9 and 1, 5 and 5, 10, 10. Same thing over here. E-I-E-I-O, Einstein, runner of the clock. O tools, O this, O that. O is the water, and Po is the skin that holds it in. Little skins all together tied up, operating a system where my eyes can see and my mouth speaketh. My ears hear they're so big I hear the echo between the mountains for distances, and I'm just so small. The sun becomes 661, the spirit of the half-life. The moon becomes 1221. 13 and, four, 13 and 15 equals to the cycle 28. And 029 equals to, guess what? That's right, equals to your birth in Venus. 9 is a combination of 6 and 3. 9 is a combination of 5 and 4. 9 is a combination of 2 and 7. But in 2 and 7, and in 1 and 8, it is no longer on the cube. Only 1 and 6 is on the cube. And you have 8 corners. You want 12, you want more corners? You want the octagon? We're just gonna cut off 8 corners. We cut 8 corners. We create the octagon inside the octagon, right? Because we cut off the triangle part. So a point goes up there, a point goes over here, a point goes over here, and a point goes over here. You end up with the diamond corners, okay? Inside what you create becomes the octagon when you cut off the corners of this. When I cut off this corner, what shape do you see in there? You'll see a flat point inside of this. You'll have a point here, a point here, there'll be point fours. And these, the shape that I cut off will have its own point. It'll have three points and then one point pointing out, right? Three points for the bottom base and one point, a three-point pyramid has four points. A four-point pyramid has five points. A five-point pyramid has six points. The point of the matter is the beginning of where I started to cut the rest of the pyramid down. And at what point do I stop? Because every time I take a slice out of it, I cut a piece off the top. Otherwise, I ain't got the angle right. Right? Every time you cut a side, you cut the top. So if you cut three separate sides, okay, to make the triangle, right, you've cut that top three times. Then, you cut the bottom all together, you cut a slab, an even slab at the bottom, because you got to cut off the rock at the bottom. We're carving right now. All of a sudden, I'm an artist that can carve, and I can imagine and see exactly what it does in shapes, and give a number to every shape, and every shape will come into a number and a word. Earth, 11, 18, 24. Earth, the cat. Sun, 6, 6, 12, 13. 24, 13. The moon, 6. 24, 13, and 6. Now, what do we do? 3 times 6 will create 18. We must multiply all these by 3 to make everything fair. That's what brings everything fair. 3 times 5 is 15. 1 and 5 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 1 and 5 is 6. 3 times 7 is 21. 2 and 1 is 3. 3 times 6 is 18. 1 and 8 is 9. 3, 6, 9. So this one becomes 72. The next one becomes 39. And the third one becomes 18. This becomes 9, this becomes 3, this becomes 9. Man is the one that lives in the water world. We're fully connected. If we're water, we're fully connected by a molecule all the way down through the earth. The difference is the sands and the mountains where it's freezing and the molecule is melt is, is dried up so we no longer reach. But we reach the magnetic stage, the distance between the two molecules that still pull together, calling it the gravitational pull. So here we had 6, now we have 18, the spirit angel residence. Here we have 3 and 9, we automatically have 3 portions. Alternate current, 3 times 3. It took the center of this to create this, because it's 3 times 3 equals to the 9, this is the center between 3, 6, and 9. 4, 7, 13 equals 4, 3, and 4 creates DC. This one is easy. This one creates 11, 19, S, and this one creates 11, 19, and 11. 11 is K, 19 is S, KS equals the 30 creation. This is the time of the sky of the resonant angel. This is how I count gematria backwards. That's all it does. Inside the same tool, I will bring it to these worlds over here, the one world, is Z-N-M-A, okay, Z-N-M-A, the four world, okay, now what, what are these numbers, three, six, nine, okay, one and three is four, one and six is seven, one and nine is back to one again, this is what these letters will go with, A-M-Z-N go with three, six, nine, that's where one comes in, okay, the same time, it also goes with zero, zero is a combination, okay, of A and E, Whatever you want to put, Earth and Angel, Entertainments and Arts, that's where it is. That's what it is. Zero. Anytime you see O'Clock and O'Tool and whatever it is, and all times you see this, the primary 
It says Mars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All Mars. All Mars and all Mercury. All Earth and all Mars. Why? Because these numbers represent those planets in low shoe and magic square. That's why. Frontwards and backwards. We're going to do it right here the basic way. Z is first instead of A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I went all the way backwards where Z is 1, right? Is that the way the alphabet should have worked? Is that the way the gematria comes out? Did I make a mistake? To 7, to 6, to 1. And then 1 to F. Then G, H, I, J, K, L, M is 1. But it's 1 and it goes over N, O, P. So it goes both ways, right? It reads perfect both ways. Not over here. Here I brought out seven. Here I finished in six. This row in the first gematria finishes in seven numbers. See, this is in row one and three. As the same thing reversed, it would have been in row one and three. In the first gematria, reading the other way, okay, this one ends over here, as in U6, but starts here. This, the two, these two are reverted. This one should be over here. Sorry, the T should be over here, and the G should be over here. In row two and row four, I shouldn't have these two. These two should be in row one and row three. That's one of the differences we have to know to which way it went. How many numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. Um, at the same time, 12, 21, 33, creation, bringing the two sides together through the sun. The sun shows the half-life because it's more than four. More than four corners, you've cut something off to create more corners. You've taken something by the spindle in the center of a Rubik's cube, okay? The cube is the center to six, to one spindle that moves four at a time. Earth is now the representation of Mars, 47 times 33, 15, 51. 40, 47 times 47. 57 is the cycle of the moon. It creates 5 by 7 and 5 plus 7, G and E. The E and the G is the gateway between the two, above and below, when you're counting in numbers and you're creating the designs. I'm going to try and see if I can get the designs over here. One of them is this. Here's the center of 5 over here. Here's the center of 5 over here. When these come together, okay, 1, Two, three, four, five. This is number five. Five and one, five and one. In between here is that gateway. Five, one, and one is your seven. If you want to look at it that way. Now I reflect the same way, and I don't like to do this. And then this becomes the house of nine. So then your seven is at this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner, all the sevens. All the nines are on the outside. And then in the next design, where the seven was over here, the nine is 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 over here. Four nines, four sevens, four nines, four sevens. 28, 28, 36, 28, 36, 64, four six six four, two six six two from Venus and two six six two from Saturn. Raphael seventy two eighty six in the longest video of something and nothing. Thank you for watching everything.